Good morning, everybody. So we are back here on the absolutely wonderful Corvair RV, the Ultra Van. So we've had a lot of issues, unfortunately, because things are just old. It is what it is. I mean, I'm not picking on this at all. I love this thing. But we've got so much going on, try and get the engine out that we have to be careful. So if you guys look, right, let's see if I can focus in on it. There we go. On those, that is the oil lines, which go into that plate, which holds the alternator, the engine oil tube, the oil sending unit. And we've already taken off the idler pulley for the belt, which is right there. Okay, so that being said, we're going to try and take the plate off all in one shot. Instead of making all these other, you know, let's pull this off, let's pull that off. You know, this way it's, it's less things to lose because it's hard to lose something big versus something small. So I don't think I updated you guys yesterday. That's all done. I wasn't feeling too good yesterday, so I kind of left early. So we're working on getting everything disconnected. I've left the coil up here and wrapped it up so that it stays with the vehicle. One of the wires is on the distributor, so we're gonna leave that there. The other wire is on the harness, which is right there. So we're gonna leave that one here on the vehicle so we don't have to worry about it. So as soon as I'm done doing the nickel and dime stuff I have over here up on top, which shouldn't be a whole lot longer. It just shouldn't. Um, then I will crawl underneath and start disconnecting drive shafts, disconnect the exhaust, make sure I get the other half of the seals because this engine has to be sealed into place to the body because it's what help keeps it cool so that the airflow runs over the engine because it's, of course, an air-cooled engine. So we'll get all of that done and taken care of. And I will be in and out and up and down and underneath the vehicle and on top of the vehicle for quite a while yet. But if you look, I'm hoping I can get this to stay long enough. Okay. So I have to separate the oil lines off of their connectors. And as you can see, those lines are destroyed. So we're gonna wind up having to put new oil lines on it, which goes to the cooler, which is right there. But I'm trying not to spill oil all over the engine and the ground. So let's keep our fingers crossed here, people. Let's see if Scotty's half as good as he thinks he is, which I guarantee if you talk to my ex, I'm not, but whatever, whatever. So that being said, let's get back to work. <laughs> 